Last night's dinner at the Culinary Vegetable Institute was totally awesome and delicious and everybody had a good time. We made a silky mushroom soup, a quinoa tabbouleh, a winter greens with a, a bok choy with shiitake bacon. I'm gonna post all this on the website. Apple noose beans with sausage, spicy stewed chicken with turnips and onions, creamy celery root and potato mash, herbed candy striped beets with microgreens. Are you getting hungry yet? <laughs> Hearty rosemary roasted roots, a seasonal food crumble with fresh whipped cream, and a creamy squash cheesecake with candy walnuts. Yeah, baby, it was so delicious and everybody had a great time. My sous chefs were amazing. Um, I mean, it was the perfect dinner, earth the table dinner. In action. For Amber that's here tonight, I am so excited about this. I tell you, walk in, the smell is intoxicating. I'm so excited for our community and our region to be able to experience Andrea's cuisine. This is very, very special for us to have Chef Andrea back to Ohio to be able to cook for us. It's not often that we get to experience her talent and her cuisine and of course her amazing smile <laughs> it makes everything taste better. So. Here, a special night. Chef Andrea is here tonight with us from New York City. We've been friends for about five years. She's a very, very special friend. Uh, she cooks from the heart. I think that you'll Taste, taste the passion of her food when you eat and experience it tonight. Earth the Tables are really designed to celebrate life, good friends and new friends and old friends, and to sit around the table and break bread. And we're seasonally sensitive. We're not gonna have any asparagus on the menu tonight. I know some of you have heard me say this before. I think that when asparagus is in season, we should have it three times a day. And then we should lust for it for 10 more months. <laughs> The care that he takes to make his vegetables grow is amazing. I was listening to him last night and he was telling me, you know, we were testing them for the antioxidant level and we're testing them for the nutrients and they're by far surpassing conventional food. And to me, that's passion. And where there's passion, there is life. You know, so this, is, this place is full of life and I'm just happy to be here. And uh, I hope you guys are gonna enjoy the food because we had a whole lot of love in the kitchen going on today. <laughs> uh, some amazing sous chefs because the chef is, you know, I couldn't do this by myself, certainly. So this meal couldn't have been prepared without a whole bunch of people, including the dishwashers and the servers. So uh, if you can, give thanks to everybody that's bringing this meal to the table. Since I was the December Earth to Table uh, chef, the perfect ending to our weekend here in Ohio. It started snowing this morning.